Hello YouTube, uh, in this video I'm going to be going over two calculators, one scientific and one printing that I got at a Goodwill near me uh, just recently. And in this video I'm once again joined by Lord of the Waffles 1229. Say Hello. hi. Hello. There he is. Alright, so just jumping right into it. Alright, here I have a Canon P100DH printing calculator. It's a 12-digit display, LCD, uh, two printing, two color printing. Uh, I'll plug it in here so you can get a little look at its magic. Oops. Alright, and here's the on-off switch. There you are. Some simple addition. Uh, here we have our decimal display uh, switches, so I can choose between 3, 2, 1, 0, or no decimals, and then I'm not sure what the F and plus button uh, switches do yet. Uh, the 5 fourths uh, thing has to do with the rounding, so you can either round up or round down. Uh, here's the, you can adjust the grand total if you want grand total on or off. Um, item counter switch right here. Uh, here's the item. And then just the on off power switch right here. Uh, going back to this switch, sorry, here's the item counter over here, and then you can adjust if you want printing on or off. And I'm not sure what the mu button does, I'll have to look into that. So here we have our numbers, operations, uh, memory, total, there's grand total button, if so, if we choose to use it. Um, percentages, the printer feed, paper feed button. I still have to put paper into here, which I think... I could do right now if I I just recently bought some paper which I think I'll do that right now I'll show you guys how I can load it thank you Lord of the Waffles 1229 did you grab me a scissors as well so I can cut this I recently bought this paper from a, a different actually from a Salvation Army family store and I will just do this Sorry about this, guys. Just trying to get the paper off. There we are. How do you get rid of the stickiness? All right. And I will just. So here's the where the paper feeds in that little slot. And you have the metal paper holder right here. I never really showed you guys the back side, technical details. I got it for $2.99 at this Goodwill. I haven't found a year on the P on this one yet, um, to keep looking. Again, it's a Canon P100DH. Alright, I'm just gonna move the camera over here for a second, and then so I can get a better hold on this. So you just feed it in here. Feed it. Paper ball. This should catch in a second here. There it is. I'm going to slide this cover off, which I probably should have done before. Oops, got a little jammy there. Dance it up a little. I'll just cut it. And I'll slide this back on. And that is how you put the paper on this here uh, Canon printing calculator. Oh, I folded the paper there a little bit. Whoops. That's not too much of an issue. And there we have it. Try not to pull backwards on it. On a side note, guys, if you um, do, didn't already know this, never pull the 
paper out like this or pull it backwards out of the out of the machine it could damage it severely I think that just about concludes the uh, I don't know if I really showed you guys the inside of this, but here you go you can see it there and I'll just stick this oops stick this back on and I think that just might, might do it here if I turn on printing here see if it still has enough still has ink in it oh it does there you go see that guys Ink ribbon still works. How about that? All right. Well, that's going to conclude it for the Canon, and on to the scientific calculator that I have. Lord of the Waffles just handed me. I got it for four ninety nine. It's a Texas Instruments. This is not the right one. This is not the right one. Lord of the Waffles, where is the correct calculator? There are several calculators here. Well. I think this is it right here, guys. Sorry about that. This is a Texas Instruments uh, 30XA. Uh, it's, I believe this one is from, uh, what did I say? Where's my phone? I had it. It's, I had a, I screenshotted the thing here. Yeah, here it is. 1996, that's what it was. So it's a pretty basic scientific calculator. Turns on right there. Yep, and then you just unscrew these uh, and pry that off to uh, reveal the motherboard and the batteries. So that's about it. I mean, it's a pretty standard scientific calculator. Not many, and I got it for 199 if I didn't say that already. I think I did. So I think that's going to wrap up this video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Whoops. Whatever, I'll do that later. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.